Hey everyone, Danielle here again from TC Helicon and today we're going to talk about tone, anti-feedback and pitch on your Perform V. So first up we're going to talk about tone. If you aren't familiar with our tone feature, it automatically adds EQ, which helps to shape the tone of your voice, removing those low muddy frequencies and boosting up the more high ends for sparkle. Compression, which reduces the difference in volume between the loudest and the quietest notes, giving you a more even sound that can blend better. DSing, which is just gonna get rid of all those harsh S sounds that come through. And gating, which is commonly used to attenuate an audio input when it falls below a certain level. For vocals, we don't want to go as far as turning your mic off completely, but we do want to reduce the volume of the mic so that when you're not singing, feedback becomes less likely. All of these touches are added to your overall sound, giving you the perfect mix every single time. To activate the tone feature, simply click the tone button, and when it's illuminated green, you know tone is active. We all want a teenage fantasy Only when we can't have it When we got it, we don't seem to want it We all want a teenage fantasy Only when we can't have it When we got it, we don't seem to want it Although you can turn tone off, we really do recommend that you leave it on to get the best out of your overall sound from your Perform V. When setting up at the mixer or working with the front of house sound engineer, you'll want to make sure that any EQs are completely flat and there's no altering frequencies in the mix, and any effect should be turned completely off at the board. For mixing setup recommendations, be sure to check out the Craig's Corner video which we'll link in the description. Don't you just love feedback? No? Obviously not, neither do we. And that's why we came up with the anti-feedback right here on your Perform V, to protect you and your delicate ears from all those high-pitched squeals. Anti-feedback automatically adapts to your environment and removes the frequencies that can cause feedback. It is not a silver bullet though, so you're still gonna need to set up your gear with reasonable volume levels and not point your microphone directly at the speakers. But anti-feedback can help when you're right on the edge and getting some of those squeals here and there. To activate anti-feedback, simply click the anti-feedback button, and when the button is illuminated blue, you know that the anti-feedback is active. When the Perform V is working to get rid of those offending frequencies, you'll see the LED lights start to flash. Then it's done all that it can do, and you're gonna have to look at the rest of your audio setup and reduce things further from the board. If you wanna know more about anti-feedback, check out the Craig's Corner video linked in the description. Last but not least, we have pitch. Nobody is perfect, so the Perform V gives you that option to add a little bit of transparent pitch correction to your voice. This function gently guides you to the nearest semitone when you sing. To activate pitch correction, simply press the pitch button, and when it illuminates green, you know the pitch function is active. It's a quarter after one, I'm a little drunk and I need you now. It's a quarter after one, I'm a little drunk and I need you now. It's a quarter after one, I'm a little drunk and I need you now. Something to note about pitch correction is that it's normal to hear the phasing between your head voice and the corrected voice coming from your speakers or headphones. This is simply the audible collision of the two signals creating a phased effect. Your audience or your recording does not hear or experience this effect at all. You can actually use the phase sound to improve your pitch over time. The less of the phase sound you hear, the closer you are to being on perfect pitch. Check out another Craig's Corner video about pitch correction and phasing via the link in the description. Are you working on your pitch or looking for some feedback on your singing? Check out the Perform V Pitch Guide. With the Pitch Guide, you can see how close you are to the true note that you're trying to sing. It's a great tool for helping to see exactly where you're nailing it and where there's some room for improvement. To activate the Pitch Guide, press and hold the Pitch button until you see the red LED light run up from red to green. When you're singing, the green LED at the center of the ring means you're right on the note. Any yellow and red over to the left-hand side of the circle means you're flat. Any yellow or red on the right-hand side of the circle means you're sharp. To deactivate, hold the button again until you see it run down green to red. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. If you've ever used a guitar tuner, pitch guide functions pretty much the same way. So that's the Perform V rundown of tone, anti-feedback, and pitch. Next up, we're gonna talk about the 48 volt phantom power, mic control, and talk back. So we'll see you over there. Oh.